Frontier Red Hot. I'm Jeff Terrell, my broadcast partner, Chris Collins, our studio producer tonight, as always. And we are set for a big basketball battle here. A couple of teams that come in with identical 13 and 7 records. They're in the same league as we know. They play twice during the regular season. A couple of victories for the Frontier Red Hawks and a third win over the Senators would punch their ticket to the quarterfinal round here in Western Mass Boys Division Three. It will not come easy, Chris. We're getting ready. I uh, talked to some of the uh, fans before the game and even some of the coaches, and they said, yep, we're ready for a rock fight. Yeah, they're starting to pile in. Interesting, uh, Frontier got the better of it during the season series, which is why this game is in this building and not in Orange. However, in terms of post-season experience, the Mahara Senators come in here with a little bit more experience than Frontier. In fact, a lot more. A lot of these players have been around the last couple of years. They've been in the tournament. Frontier has not really had a lot of postseason experience. So you've got that, that edge, I think, for Mahar. But in terms of skill, very evenly matched team. Should be a great ball game here tonight. Mahar, again, the number nine seed. 13-7 and seven was their regular season record. Coming off a one-point loss at Hopkins Academy last Monday night. 53-52, a game here on Bear Country, 95.3. Hopkins had about a 15-point lead in the second half, a frenetic comeback by Mahar, and Quinn Gervais lined up a deep three, which would have won the game at the buzzer. It rimmed out, no good. Hopkins ends up winning it by one. But that's a great Hopkins team, of course, the number one seed in D4, and uh, certainly a situation where the Senators almost pulled off what would have been a huge upset had they turned that trick they like this game would have been in orange most certainly instead we're here in south Deerfield. frontier also at 13 and 7 they're coming off a 58 39 win at south hadley uh, rather at smith academy back on uh, last monday night the 19th two matchups during the regular season back on january 3rd it was frontier over mahar 47 to 34 so a rather comfortable win in this gym then they go to orange much closer there that was on february 1st as frontier won that one 44 to 42. frontier chris as we know they began the year we've talked about it several times 0 and 4 to begin the year and then they had that long eight game winning streak losses to hopkins academy and belcher town brought that to an end but then they end up won, uh, winning five of six down the stretch to wrap up the regular season so they're coming in on a pretty high note yeah they are and, and like you said they, they started off slow picked up steam but that game against mahar that was a huge win for them and uh, on the road and like you said i mean it's amazing how quickly fortunes can turn one missed shot in that hopkins game if it goes we're in orange tonight so and this is two like i guess said two very evenly matched teams i think the battle on the inside is going to be interesting with karsten carey uh, going up against uh jake temple i think you've got uh, good guard play on both sides it's a really really two fundamentally sound basketball teams that like to compete Mahar had a very different experience as they opened up the season uh, frontier at 0-4 but Mahar opened up at 5-0 and they were really riding high they were uh, really looking like they were one of the two teams atop the league along with Hopkins Academy then they came back uh, they came back to the pack a little bit starting with that loss to Frontier back on January 3rd the Senators ended up going 87 after that 5-0 start so basically a 500 team but they had given themselves enough of a cushion to get a, a nice decent seed here at number nine so they didn't have to play one of the top uh, one of the top teams yet in the division however the winner of this game they go right to the top of the uh, division they will play at number one seed mind the mountain who got a first round by that game will be friday night in great barrington so whoever wins this game has to take it right to the top of the mountain literally now it's uh, mind the mountain yeah that's not going to be easy I and mean, you, you almost think <laughs> I mean, look, you want to win this game, obviously. You don't think about the next round of tournament play. That's one of the rules. But they got plenty. Both these teams have plenty to worry about right now on this floor tonight. One other team in action tonight, uh, one other local team in action as part of this tournament, and it's number 12, Greenfield. They got in. Only a seven-win team, but they finished second in their division of the Hampshire League as they kind of leapfrog over Smith Academy late. Greenfield got a couple of big wins. Smith Academy with some... Uh, with a critical loss down the stretch and that allowed Greenfield to kind of jump over them into second place so they're part of the postseason the Falcons were not part of the postseason but Greenfield has to go out to Dalton tonight to take on number five Wakona they will be a decided underdog on the road we'll see how the Greenway fares the winner of that game will go to Baldwinville Narragansett Regional one of those central mass teams that plays in the western mass tournament 
that came at Narragansett on Friday night. Now we're keeping an eye on the weather, Chris. I know there's a lot of basketball games to be played on Thursday night, no problem there. Friday though, a very different situation, a sizable storm that right now is out west. By the time it gets here, it'll basically be a, a nor'easter. Right now I, I'm hearing more rain than snow, but if it, if it turns even a little bit, it could be a mess. You also got to worry about the possibility of icing too and how many schools, what the MIAA will do. There's always a chance to play Saturday, which is a possibility. So yeah, this is one of those situations where you never know what's going to happen until it does. But uh, we'll definitely be following a lot of these teams down the stretch. All right, we'll take a break here in our pregame show. We're about 10 minutes away from the start of this basketball game. Again, Western Mass Boys Division Three preliminary round. Number nine, Mahar. Number eight, Frontier. Coming up on Bear Country 95.3. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Action tonight in high school basketball playoff action. The boys division four, uh, four first round prelim. Franklin Tech on the road against Bay State Academy. Uh, that game being played down in Springfield. And uh, on the girls' side, again, it was a girls' night last night except for one local team, and that's Franklin County Tech. They're playing down in Springfield at uh, the High School of Commerce at 7 o'clock against the Renaissance School in the girls' D4 prelim. Our next action here on Bear Country will be on Thursday night, the Greenfield Greenway, number five seed. They advanced uh, last night, preliminary round against, uh, against Drury at home. They won comfortably. Will be in action on the road at Granby. And we've been saying it ever since the season began, really since last season ended. It's uh, it's cage or bust for those girls. Yeah, and I think that they're not exactly happy with where they wound up in terms of the seating with the Walker system. So they'd love to go into Granby, punch them in the mouth, and then go to the cage and admit that we're awaiting top seed Hampshire, where they've already beaten once this year. So. Greenfield's got something to prove, and uh, they can keep the train rolling on uh, Thursday night. We'll have that game for you here on Bear Country. Bobby C. will join me for that one pregame, as usual, during the postseason, 645, 7 o'clock tip. Friday night, we'll have Pioneer at home. Now, if Franklin Tech can pull the upset tonight on the road, it'll be all Franklin County in that quarterfinal round matchup up at the mess hall on Friday night. That would be fun. I'm not exactly anticipating that, but uh, who knows? Maybe the uh, Tech boys will come up with a big win tonight. Well, that would be fun. And, and Pioneer, you mentioned, you mentioned Greenfield. Pioneer's got something to prove as well. They want to get back to the cage, and uh, they've got a bye in the first round. It's all setting up for them if they can uh, play their game. And what a season for Greenfield High School Hockey, really Franklin County's high school hockey team over there at the Collins Moreland Arena. We got some pucks on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, 1.30, they're going to take on East Hampton. That's going to be a great game in the semifinals of D4. Winner goes to the championship on the 8th. We are getting great sponsorship support on that. If you're a Green Wave hockey backer, if you're part of the business community, if you want in on that, make sure you contact us at the radio station. We would love to have you aboard for that one as we follow Greenfield. East Hampton from the Olympia down in West uh, Springfield Saturday afternoon here on Bear Country. All right, one more time out. When we come back, introduction of the starting lineups, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off. Mahar Frontier next on Bear Country 95.3. Now for tonight's starting lineups. For Mahar at guard, number 11, Brennan Mayu. <laughs> at guard, number 13, Sam Paul. At center, number 25, Devin Patch. At forward, number 22, Quinn Gervais. And at forward, number 23, Matt Jenks. And our is coached by Jack Sockett. And now for Frontier, at guard, number one, Alex Sharp.
winner, number 22, Carsten Carey. At forward, number 12, Jared Musica. And at forward, number 11, Ben Lechkowski. And he is coached by Ben Barshevsky. The officials for tonight's game are Mark Gramoli, Jerry Burgess, and Scott Nikovic. Would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem? And as you can hear, a large crowd here at Goodno Gymnasium. Not a full house necessarily, but a big crowd here for this tournament game. And what makes the tournament fun is that once you're here, you never know when the last game of your season will be. Unless you make the state final, you don't know before the game begins that it could be your last game of the season. So we're also uh, making a bit of history tonight, Jeff. This is the first time we've ever done a simulcast on television with radio. Correct. FCAT um, Media page, YouTube. Welcome to everybody watching. Uh, this is the first time we've done this, and uh, we've had a great season of simulcast with our folks from FCAT, Kevin Murphy, the executive producer, and the gang. So we're, we're psyched to be here. As usual, eight-minute quarters, 30-second shot clock. So we have 32 minutes of basketball at least to settle this. Frontier in their home white uniforms with the navy blue and scarlet red. Same color scheme for Mahar, but they have their visiting navy blue with red. Jumping center is Devin Patch for Mahar. And of course, Karsten Carey will be jumping center for the Frontier Red Hawks. Winner gets number one, Monument the Mountain, Friday night in Great Barrington at seven o'clock. Frontier will be moving right to left, Maha left to right. The ball is in the air, the tip controlled by Frontier, we're underway, the Red Hawks moving to the basket on our left here in the first half. Sharp, get to the top of the key, they swing it. Over to Kalen Evans, top of the key to Sharp. It's a pass on the right side. Pull up pop from the lane, that's an air ball, no good out of the hands of Jordan Muzica. Back quickly come the Senators. Here comes Sam Paul to the right block. Little hook pass down low, and the leaner up and in. Book it for Matt Jenks. Yeah, he was all alone. And saving it on the baseline nicely is Perry, but it's picked off by Sam Paul. Paul takes it across the timeline between the circles. Passes left side to Brennan Malu. Malu back to Sam Paul. Malu deep on the left. Up takes. Drives through. Can't get a shot away, though. Go back to Sam Paul, shot clock down to 10. Sam Paul, jump pass batted down by Carey. Karsten Carey leaves the break. He'll take it all the way through and a reach and foul call and Karsten Carey goes flying into the boards underneath the basket. It's a foul called against Sam Paul, his first. Nice D by Carey, but he paid for it at the other end. He's still shaking up. They're not gonna give him a shooting situation there. It's on the floor. Alex Sharp will inbound on the baseline, throws it out deep to Kalen Evans in the middle right corner to Sharp. Sharp now breaks it to the right wing, between the leg dribble, now takes it through the circles, bounce pass, right wing, Uzika. Takes it left, passes on the right side. Shot clock now down to 12. Ashton Curry in a high post, right side, Kalen Evans fakes the three, now the jumper from 17, back rim, no good. Battle for the rebound, comes down to Mahar. Then Gervais got it away, Sam Paul brings it into the front court. Left side, Melu. Into the left corner, Gervais back to Melo. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Melo inside the arc now. And Hache traveling calls the up fake, and Devin Pat shuffled his feet. Yeah, I, thought, I thought Devin was going to shoot that three, but decided not to and ended up traveling. So Frontier now will take over. Muzika will inbound on the sideline left, gets it into Sharp. Some passive backcourt pressure by the center. It's broken easily by the Hawks. Into the left corner, Ben Lipskowski. We're working on the right side now. Sharp over to Kalen Evans, holding there. Down low in the paint, coming through. Carson Curry got blocked, but a foul. And that is going to go against Devin Patch. Well, Devin Patch did a good job to get position, but got hand, not ball. But that, otherwise, that was a pretty good looking block on a, one of the better post players. First foul on him, and the first, uh, second team foul on the Senators. First free throw up and good for Carson Curry. First point of the night for the Hawks, and one more for Karsten. Right-handed shooter, just dribbles it once. And got the nice bounce, it kind of spun up there and it fell through. 
And what now happened? the officials are going, they're looking at Karsten Carey. Blood. He's got to come off, yeah. That it's, probably happened when he got hit down below and got fouled. It's his left knee. Now I'm not sure if they're going to make him come. No, they're actually going to be able just to stop the game here briefly. They're going to put a bandage on that. And uh, he'll be allowed to stay in the game. Sometimes they need to sub, but he's right. good to go. It's a very small cut. Barely perceptible, but the official did note it. 6.08 to play here in the opening quarter. Just underway, we are tied at two. Gordon Mailer brings it across. Sam Paul deep on the right side. Right corner to Gervais. Left side pass is picked up by Kalen Evans, going one on two. Kalen takes it right to the hole, and he gets fouled. Reach and foul on Sam Paul, who thought he had all ball, but he did not. Well, again, that's the quickness of Kalen Evans. Great athleticism, able to poke that, uh, that pass free, and Kalen draws the foul. Yeah, that's King two, by the way, on Paul. Yeah, it is, yes. Two quick ones on Sam, one of the big senior leaders here for Maha. No sub yet. First one by Evans is good. Kalen again more. Yeah, Kalen uh, definitely one of those springy athletes that's really hard to contain in the open court. Back rim on the second free throw, no good. Here comes Sam Paul. Now we'll see how aggressive he plays. He's a very fiery type of guy. Going right baseline. Catch misses, but there to clean up underneath is Jenks. Maha four, Frontier three, 5.38 to play here We're in the first quarter. Evans has it deep on the right. Harston Carey, fighting through a double team all the way through, forces it up, no good. Tip follow, yes. Would not be denied on that one. Frontier with its first lead, 5-4. 5.20 to play here in the opening quarter. Deep and left, Lenny Mailu. Takes it to the line, back to Sam Paul. Right side, Gervais, three partially blocked. Knocked out of bounds, it'll stay with the Senators with 16 on the shot clock. Terry looked like a big bird flying in on that one. <laughs> he did. Sam Paul will inbound down the baseline. And having a little bit of trouble, gets it in though. To Melo, running between the circles. Shot clock down to 12, on the right to Sam Paul. Right corner, Gervais. Gervais tries to go baseline, but nice defense right there. Shot clock down to seven. Deep on the left side, pull up jumper. By patch way off, but James once again down low, getting it done. He's cleaning up the glass tonight. Mahar needs that badly. Great job by Matt. 6-5. Mahar reclaims the lead. We've got a couple of lead changes already. We anticipate that'll be the situation all night now. Frontier loses it on the baseline. Back to Mahar. Also, Devin Patch is doing a great job defensively right now on Carson Carey, making life very difficult for the big man. 440 to play here in the first quarter. Mahar with the ball in a one-point lead, 6-5. On the left side is Patch. Cross court pass on the right to Gervais. Gets it back to Sam Paul. 15 to shoot. Paul picks up the dribble. Right side pass to Gervais. Over the right corner for Melo. Trying to work it down low. Can't do so. Shot clock down to 10. He's in trouble. Gets it away to Patch. High pass. Miscommunication there. Way over the head of Gervais. Back to Frontier. Great D by Frontier. Used almost all that shot clock down to five seconds. And it is a late arriving crowd here. Even since the anthem, we've had several dozen people come in. So now it's really filling up here. Definitely feels like the postseason as it is. And now a lazy pass goes out of bounds. Ben Lasasa couldn't save it. Back to Maha. Yeah, ben tried to keep that in, but that wasn't a great pass. And again, that's great defense by Devin Patch. We are halfway through the opening quarter here, and it is 6-5 in favor of Mahar. Senators with the ball, attacking the basket on our right. Three ball, top of the key, is short by St. Paul, just barely got the iron. Tipped around, ends up in the hands of Ben Litskotsky. Gets away to Sharp. Alex will walk it across the timeline. Takes it towards the right, calling out the set play. Bounce pass in the right corner to Kerry. Karsten holds there, looking to pass out of that. Ben Litskotsky through the lane, goes up. Dipsy to drive, yes! Good move by Ben Lestoski. Frontier by one, 7-6. Three and a half to play in the quarter. Sam Paul. Now deep on the left side, Brennan Melu. No subs yet. Kind of deep. Usually they've uh, subbed by this time. Brennan Melu, 15 feet away from the basketball. Right corner jumper by Kim Gervais, no good. Rebound to Karsten Carey. Alex Sharp looks over to the bench, gets the play call from Ben Barshevsky. Tricky dribbles on the right wing. Keeps it going. Dumps it down low, tipped, but picked up there by Karsten Carey. Right corner, Rainbow J from the right is short, tipped out deep, and it comes down to the Senators. 
Coming all the way through. Patch got over to St. Paul. Jump pass down low. Jenks again down low. Hits. He's having a monster game. Mahar's winning the battle on the glass, too. 8-7 Senators. 2.45 to play here in the quarter. Sharp. Right side. It goes on the wing to Kalen Evans. Still no subs yet. Although Frontier is uh, set to. Ball is lost out of bounds. It will stay with Frontier. And the Mahar bench saying, no, no. we got to go the other way. Yeah, they're pretty lucky they didn't get called for a foul on that one. He got pretty much abused on the baseline. Donovan Hoffman and Owen Morris check in for Frontier. Kalen Evans checks out along with uh, Jordan Muzika. On the right side, Morris, the jumper, deep, no good. Loose ball on the floor, and with a held ball between Donovan Hoffman and the Meyer player, these guys are fiery and on the air to go to the Senators. Yeah, Donovan Hoffman went after that ball, and it's good to see this. Frontier's got to get more aggressive going after these rebounds. Right, Meyer is picking, but pretty, much, pretty much every rebound out. I was talking to Donovan before the game. I said, you've had some big uh, radio and TV games this year. And he said, well, thank you. But he said, as a team, they're just treating this like it's a regular season game. They don't want to get too caught up in the moment. They want to just play their game. Coming through. Hatch puts it up. No good on the runner. Rebound cleared by Frontier. Taking it across is Morris. Morris has it. The head of the circle. This is over, Donovan Hoffman on the left side. Gets it down low to Carson Carey, fighting through a double team, no good. Goes up again, counted and one. Make that a triple team on that second shot. That was unbelievable. He was absolutely hemmed up. Would not be denied on the baseline. Yeah, he's one of those big men who, even when they're really coming after him, he, he's not deterred. He just says, I'm still gonna make my move. Well, he looks like a relatively thin guy who wouldn't be that tough. But man, when he wants to go to the basket, you better get out of his way. Patch is out for the Mahar Senators, and you've got Charlie Barnes in there. Free throw is good, so a three-point play by Carey gives Frontier a 10-8 lead. Sam Paul, push pass on the right side. Tim Gervais back to Paul, left side to Melo. Melo. At the free throw line, back to Sam Paul, left of the lane, jump pass right side, Gervais from 19, yes! Good passing, nice ball movement by Mahara. We're tied at 10, it's been nip and tuck as we expected. So far, minute and a half left here in the quarter. Donovan Hoppin on the left side, and a whistle away from the ball, a foul down low on Frontier, we'll see who got the ticket. And the way they're talking about the floor, it looks like it's on uh, Ben Vyskoski, 11, yeah, they haven't posted it yet. Yeah, it's on Ben, his first. And that's the first team foul tonight on the Red Hawks. 128 to play here in the quarter. We're tied at 10. Mahar with the ball. Brendan Melu now will run the point. Walks it across the timeline. Picked up there by Sharp. Picks up the dribble. Better way to Sam Paul. Paul back to Melu on the right. Takes it inside the arc. Nearly lost it off his hip. Back to Sam Paul. Top of the key. Shot clock at 10. Tried to dump it down low. No one there. Back to Frontier. Good smothering defense there by Mahar. By Frontier rather giving Mahar nowhere to go. And we're coming down to the one minute mark here in a very competitive back and forth first quarter. We're tied at 10. Each team has led a couple of times. Donovan Hopkins top of the key and he shuffled his feet as he tried to update. Yeah, Donovan was a little bit a little ahead of himself on that one. Well defended by Charlie Barnes. 58 seconds left here in the quarter. Ben Amelo brings it across, takes it towards the right wing. Looks like a 2-3 frontier zone defense right now. They try to set a screen, they can't work anything with it. St. Paul sealed off, Brennan Melu from 18 feet. That shot is good. Hey, the Frontier and the high guards right now are doing a great job moving the ball. 12-10, Senators, 38 seconds left here in the quarter. Trapp gets it to Hoffman, top of the key, into the left corner. Morse, can't do much with it. Passes into the left corner, Van Vyskoski. Back top of the key, Morris launches for three. Back iron, no good. Battle for the wall, rebound is taken down by Jenks. Out of the way to Sam Paul, he'll circle back, set up the offense. Shot clock off, 15 seconds left here in the quarter. Mahar with the ball, leading by two. Sam Paul, they're kind of just diddling around the top of the key. Now they'll make their move, six seconds left. They get it back, Sam Paul, top of the key. Two seconds left, swoop to the lane. The runner is good at the buzzer. End of one in South Deerfield, and our score, the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Mahar 14, Frontier 10 on Bear Country, 95.3.
the assistant principal is checking in to see if it is necessary to leave. Please stay for now. All right, Jeff and Chris back here at Frontier Regional and a fire delay now of 35 minutes approximately before we get started, but we're just about set to go. Now, Chris, when the alarm went off, I thought maybe somebody just pulled the alarm and it was, uh, turns out, I, I didn't smell anything until we got outside. I could definitely smell the smoke when we got outside. Uh, speaking of uh, basketball, Greenfield season is over. They've gone final up in the Berkshires, Wakona 57, Greenfield 29. Okay, so Greenfield exits in the first round, not unexpected at this point. But the Franklin Tech Eagles are way big up big time at yes. half of their game. Yeah, that's right. And if the Tech boys win, that'll set up an all Franklin County lead, put a final round matchup at the Mets Hall Friday night. All right, play underway. Second quarter underway. Front two with the ball, trailing by four. In the right corner is Musica. Kalen Evans is out there. Looks like the starting five. Out there except that is the starting five. Sharp on the weak side. Shot clock down to ten. Kalen Evans up takes on the three. They go back top of the key. Musica right side. Ben Laskowski with the shot clock running down. No good. But the rebound to Sharp and a new shot clock for the Hawks. Ben Laskowski has it. Nice pass. Sharp all alone. Left block can't finish though. Some contact. No foul call. Back quickly come the Senators. Sam Paul to the line, to the lane. The floater is good. 16-10 in favor now of Mahar. As we come up on the top of the hour. This game was going to end uh, probably around quarter after eight. We'll, we'll run late now after that delay. Frontier needs an answer. This is the biggest lead of the night for either team. Laskowski, left side to Sharp. Evans up fake, so go left baseline. He loses the handle, but a reach and foul call against Mahar. And let's see who got it. Well, Kalen got a break. He was about to turn that ball over, and then the foul was committed. I think they got Charlie Barnes. They did his first 15th foul. Sharp inbounding on the baseline. Gets in and Evans right back to Sharp. Left corner. Can't pull the trigger on the three. They go to Evans at the head of the circle. Back to Sharp on the left. He'll take the tray, and that is no good. Battle for the rebound. They got Laskowski going over the back. That's two on dead, too. Uh, back to the Senators as they look to extend upon their six-point lead. Ben Barshevsky talked to the official. He wants an explanation. Doesn't get satisfaction. And the Senators have the ball again. And then Mailer get it on the left side. Backing his way in all the way through. Back to Charlie Barnes. Kicks it left side to Mailu. Then it pulls up for 15. That is good. And a timeout called by Frontier and the Mahar crowd on its feet. Timeout, 6.23 to play here in the first half on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Mahar 18 and Frontier 10. And tonight's game is being brought to you in part by Zelensky Landscaping. Greenfield Savings Bank, Neil A. Zelensky Electrician, Fisher's Garage, and by Quabbin Valley Auction. So we were speculating how the 30 minute delay would impact the Mahar said it, well, both teams, but Mahar was finished the first quarter on a high note, but they've uh, picked up right with their left eye. Quick 4-0 run to start the second quarter. 18-10 in favor of Mahar. Sharp on the left wing. Pass go pass on the right to Kalen Evans. Back to Sharp. Shot clock at 15. Got tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Hawks. But the Senators contesting everything at this point. And the Hunter are crowd getting a little restless here. Sharp and bounding on the baseline. Throws it to Evans on the wing. Picks it into the corner now. We'll circle back. Cross court pass on the way to Sharp. Just not a great set here. Not Chris passes. Back on the left side. It goes to Evans. Uzuka in the follow line. Pass is tipped away. Knocked out of bounds. Only one second though on the shot clock. So Frontier, this is a catch. It's a pass, catch, and shoot. Yeah, the skip passing is not working. The Frontier is not really looking like they're in sync right now. In Evans, he has to let it go immediately, and it's over the backboard and back to the Senators. Yeah, that was not a great exchange, and Mahar is stepping up the defense right now, making it very tough for the Senators, for the uh, Red, uh, Red Hawks. Well, uh, for Frontier, keeping your composure here would be a good idea. Uh, they, they are showing signs of getting a little rattled here by this Senator defense. 
And now we have another stoppage of play. It's not another fire alarm, is it? No. <laughs> oh, They're gonna inbound under the basket, which is why I thought yeah. it should have gone. Right. Paul inbounds it. Taking it up is Melu. Back to Paul. Paul gets up ahead there, Charlie Byrne. Back to St. Paul, with will toss over dribble, working on it sharp. Takes it to the right wing, stops there, dumps it down low. Jenks got pushed from behind, foul on Frontier. And Yuzika got the ticket. Yep. Jared from behind will poke. And batting on the baseline is Paul. And having a little bit of trouble, does it into King Gervaito. Looking up off the Barnes, over to Brennan Mayla. New shot clock after that. Foul call, Barnes, from the foul line, jump pass, down low to Juve, Quinto back out in the three-point land, left corner, it goes to Juve, Frontier really stepping up on D now, nice defensive set for them, shot clock down to 10, Sam Paul to the line, to the line, little floater, short, tip followed by Juve, no, loose ball, tipped out of bounds, which way are we going? Still Mahar, I think. Mahar, yep, fresh 32. Gary Burgess looking for some help, got it from his, uh, Fellow officials, there's a three-man crew, of course, here for the postseason. They get it into Melu, new shot clock after that uh, out-of-bounds play. Mahar leading by eight, biggest lead for either team. Charlie Barnes, top of the key, traveling. Well, that was Ben. Ben basically made him shut off and take an extra step. Good job. Yep, Ben, a uh, talented player, a very smart player, a very smart student. And I saw this uh, most recent quarter got the highest honors you can get the very, uh, very intelligent young man 18-10 favor Omaha Frontier looking for the first points of the second quarter here we're almost halfway through it Ben Lasiowski will go baseline he runs into a brick wall and what do we got foul. offensive foul on the basket yep that's three on him he's got to have to come off I think let's see if Ben Barshevsky will get him on the bench. He's just been notified that that's three, but it's too late to get somebody in the game just yet. Now Frontier with some backcourt pressure, broken easily by the Senators. 18-10, Maha with the lead. On the right side, Charlie Burns in three-point lane. And Tomato, nice dish down low. Jenks goes for the bank, no good. One of his few misses tonight. Back to three, come the Hodge, it's Morris. Head of the circle, trying to control that basketball. Passes on the right side to Sharp. Back to Morris. Looking beyond the arc right now. Left side pass goes. Wiskowski for three. Rims out, no good. Gervais the rebound. No offensive rebounding for Frontier. Last couple of sets. Valley Barnes. Pass got poked away. Recaptures. We're halfway through the quarter. Frontier still hasn't scored in it. And we get a foul. This time it's going to go against the Senators. And the other is fouled away from the ball. Let's see what they get here. Posted the X, the uh, 16th foul, so one more will be in the one and one. That's going to be on Melu, his first. Yep. Ben Melu sitting down Ben Laskowski with those fouls. Kellen Evans back out there. Going to that baseline, Musica loses the handle, traveling. Mahar is defending that baseline very, very well. You, you got to really know what you're doing going down there, and that time Musica just took an extra step. And Chad Sopnik of Mahar is going to call a timeout. We'll step aside as well. Three minutes, 52 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Mahar 18, Frontier 10. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins back here. Dave Reno, our studio producer. And we're halfway through the second quarter. It's been all Mahar late first, early second. They lead by eight to the Senators. And you know, if this is Frontier's bad stretch of the game, I guess better to have it now than in the fourth quarter. There's plenty of time for them to get going again, but they're not looking too good right now, Chris. Well, I think that, they, you know, they certainly were very crisp in the first quarter. They have not been so in the second quarter. And, you know, Mahar's only not on a 4 or one It's not like they're shooting the lights out. So there's, there's room for improvement on both sides. All right, play back on now. And again, some, not trapping press, but some passive backcourt pressure by the Red Hawks, but it's broken. Sam Paul has a top of the key right side, holding it. Sam Paul again comes up, push pass to Patch, back to Paul for three. Back win, no good. Weak side rebound, though taken, but Gervais couldn't corral it, goes out of bounds and cuts your ball. And Mahar's working that weave passing very, very well on the outside, and it's kind of making, making it difficult for Frontier to set up a, a consistent defense. Sharp out of the front court. 
Left side pass to Morse. Loops the pass back to Sharp on the right side. And gets it in the left corner. Muzuka, cross court pass to Sharp. They're really spreading the floor here in this quarter. They get it down low. Karsten Carey back to Morse. Squares up for three. Good! They needed that bucket big time. And they're back to within five points now, 18 13. First points of the second quarter there by the Hawks. And it comes on a tray. Sam Paul to the top of the key. Passes down low to Gervais over Karsten Carey. Altered that shot. It's no good. Root spot picked up by Carey. Frontier looks to run. But Bahar did get back defensively. And on the left side, Kale and Evans, they pick him up. Sam Paul does. They dump it down low. Karsten Carey, nice power move on the baseline. No good, but a foul down low. Yeah, they're going to probably get, I think, Jenks on this one. He was the one closest. That's the seventh team foul. And uh, this will be two shots. They're going to say it was in the act. So two free throws for Karsten Carey. Usually very solid from the line. First one is on the way. And uh, the first I jinxed it. No good. Well, I like that play call. Kalen dumping it down low. I think if he does that, he'll get some, some good quality looks. If not, he'll get some people in foul trouble. Yeah, he executed a nice spin move down low. Second one is good for Karsten Carey. The lead for Mahar now is four. A quick 4 -0 run here by the Hawks. 2.35 to play here in the half. What a melee. Deep on the left wing between the circles. Making the through is Paul. Bounce pass back to Melo. Here's the runner from the left side. Way too strong. Karsten Carey the rebound. Falls down. Passes away. But it's a pick back off. Sam Paul going to take it right down. Goes for the bank this time. No good. Battle for the rebound. A Ooh. hell ball. Ooh. Big time struggle for the ball between Karsten Carey and Jake Temple. Hell ball. The arrow will favor Mahar. Ryan yeah. Donaldson in for Jake Temple. Yeah. Temple's going to come out. He's done his job. <laughs> Took Carey to the floor. Sam Paul inbounding on the baseline. Having some trouble. They're getting into Melu though. Near the right corner for Paul. Fakes the three. Drives. Dumps it down low. Jenks up. No good. A foul goal on Muzika. Yeah, Muzika did his best to try and block out Jenks. He got more body than ball. Frontier fans don't like it, but that was a favorite call. I have to say, the Frontier six man, they've been a little, the games that I've done anyway, because you've been here a lot more than me, obviously, if you're Death Cat, maybe. They've had, to me anyway, a quiet season, but they showed up today. Yeah, they definitely have, but you know, this is the time of year when they show up. It's, it's tournament time. Jinx made the first. Matt will get one more here. Matt broke a 4-0. The Red Hawk run, second one is good as well. Mahar's lead is back to six, 20 to 14. Coming down to the two minute mark here in the first half. Our half time report is coming up. Coming all the way through, Morris with a scoop shot. The basket's good, but I believe they're gonna wave that off. Foul before yeah. the shot. Yeah, Donaldson hit him before he got the shot off, so it'll be on the floor. Yeah, that means we're into the one and one. Oh, you're right, one and one, yep. Frontier is going to sub here. And Brandon Robinson, who is a hell in the chemical player of the game early in the regular season, he will check in. Yuzika will sit down. He's got two fouls. Free throw up and good from the end of the one and one. One more for Owen Morse, just a freshman. But at this point of the year, we're coming up on March. The freshmen are no longer freshmen. They're just they're just varsity players at this point. Morse has been playing solid all season. Yep. So. He's had a good freshman year. Second free throw good as well. 20 to 16. Maha by four. Sam Paul. Another front court. Picked up there by Sharp. Man defense. Now they switch off. They dump it down low. Jenks had to go off his hands. Nice save by him. Nice ball movement. They keep it alive. Shot clock down to 10. Double dribble call on Quinn Gervais. Yep. That was, that was Kalen Evans that made that. Gervais' life a little miserable there, forced to double dribble. I can smell the smoke now, Jeff. I don't know about you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Definitely yeah. smell the smoke from the fire. Yep. It's been walking in from the uh, from the lobby. We'll talk more about that in half, and people are joining us wondering why we're only in the second quarter. There's a big reason. Down low, Karsten Carey fighting through another double team, camping at the fall, and did they get Karsten going over the back? What do we got? No, just out of bounds. Out of bounds. But that was good defense. I mean, they forced Carson to make a tough shot there, and it wasn't successful. And downing, they throw it high to Carson. He pulled it down with those long arms. Gets it back on the left side. Here comes Morse. He's sealed off on the paint. And the uh, 
baseline rather gets it back. He'll fire up a jumper from 19 in and out, no good. James had the position on Curry, got the rebound, but it'll the call. Sam Paul takes it to the head of the circle. Now left of the lane, puts up the floater, no good. Tip follow, no. And a jump ball on the rebound, and the arrow will go to Frontier. Yeah, Carson just got enough of that ball to tie it up, so Frontier will get it back. Ooh, I can smell that smoke now. Yeah. <laughs> so we know there was a fire. Oh, yeah. Again, we don't want to alarm people, uh, pun intended. It, uh, it, 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 from what, we weren't there, but not a huge situation. If it was, we, we wouldn't be having a good game right now. But there was a fire here at Frontier tonight. On the right side, Dylan Evans. Take the three. Out of Morris. Shot clock down to 10. Out. Stop of the key. Left of the lane. Gets it back. A rainbow three. It's good. Yep, barely moved on that one. Morris. Beautiful release on that one. And now the Hawks back two within one. They have effectively weathered the storm. Shot clock, game clock just about in sync. 20 seconds left on each. Here in the half. Paul. Passes back to Brennan Mayler. He'll drive the lane. His floater rims out no good. Those shots were falling earlier. Frontier now can take the lead at halftime. Evans, shuffle pass back to Morris. Back to Evans. Three ball, left corner. Good! Frontier takes the lead. Halftime. A late surge by Frontier. And they will take a two-point lead into an intermission. Our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 22. Maha 20, Bear Country 95.3 and FK. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. South Deerfield, Western Mass Boys Division Three preliminary round. And it's the eighth seeded Frontier Red Hawks leading the ninth seeded Mahar Senators at intermission 22 to 20. I'm Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins alongside Dave Reno is our studio producer. Uh, just about a full house here in Goodno Gymnasium. Kind of a crazy situation at the end of one quarter. The fire alarm went off. There was a small fire in the art room this evening here at Frontier Regional, we had to just over a half an hour. When we came back, the Mahar Senators took the four-point lead up to eight, but a late serve by the Hawks as they really teed up and then got the offense going, particularly out there on the perimeter, a couple of three balls. They end up leading by two here at halftime. Chris. I think Owen Morris coming into the game really gave him a spark. You know, get a couple of big threes. Caleb Evans had a big three to end the uh, half and give them a two-point lead. Still a lot of work to be done, but I think that... that Frontier, I think, maybe was a little bit flat coming out in that second quarter. But they got their bearings. I'd like to see a little bit less of those skip passes, a little bit more of short passing around, working into carry a little bit. And Mahar, you know, they just they didn't quite make as many shots as they did in that first quarter. And I think that uh, Mahar's defense stepped up now was one of the reasons. But the guard play for Mahar has been just tremendous. And the inside-out game is working for the Senators. But in that uh, lower part of that second quarter, the uh, Red Hawks got the better of them. Yeah, Mahar's shooting percentage in the first quarter and into the second was really, really high for any level of basketball. We don't keep that kind of stat, but it, Chris, it was way up there. And then a lot of those things, a lot of those floaters that they were banking in or swishing them in, they just stopped falling, and that really was able to help get Frontier back in the game. And that can happen. I mean, you, 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 know, you, you go through spurts where you, you're cold a little bit, and that certainly seemed to happen to Mahar at the end of that quarter. But Frontier, I think, picked up some momentum. Those three balls and that big shot at the end by Kalen Evans. Um, they've got that momentum, and they have to really see if they can look to maintain that momentum. The third quarter has sometimes been empty for this team. They've got to come out and play a solid third quarter. 22-20. Frontier is our score here at halftime of the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. More halftime from South Deerfield coming up next here on Bear Country 95.3. 
All right, halftime continuing here in South Deerfield. Uh, Frontier leading by two at the break, 22 to 20. Teams out now for the warm up. We're going to take a break from the postseason, but it's uh, a brief respite. We have games back to back to back Thursday, Friday, Saturday afternoon. It all starts Thursday night as the Lady Wave of Greenfield High School in their quest to finally get to the cage. They're really right in line for a potential. Western Mass title, but first they need to get past their quarterfinal run opponent. It is on the road by virtue of their number five seed as they get on the Granby on Thursday night. Yeah, it's a four against the five, and that's going to be a, a great game, I think. I don't know much about Granby, but I know what Greenfield's capable of. We've seen them all season. They've only been beaten once in the regular season, and they've, I don't know how many games they've won in a row. Uh, something like 17, 17 some, some yeah. ridiculous number. So, but you know, you're one and done in the postseason, and I think they would love nothing better than to have a rematch in Hampshire on the Curry X cage floor. 6.45 pregame, 7 o'clock tip time, live from Granby. That's Thursday night. Then we go back to the boys on Friday night. We know Pioneer will be playing at home because they got a first round bye in that D4 field. Will they be playing Franklin County Tech? We, we may find out before we leave the air tonight. That would be great. If not, they'll have another opponent, but that game will be on Friday night. The last word we had was Tech was up at the half, and that was not supposed to be a game they were necessarily going to win. Wouldn't surprise me at all to see Franklin Tech and Pioneer. Let me tell you something. Really, this place is packed. If that ends up being an <laughs> oh, all Franklin yeah. quarterfinal, you're going to have people hanging off the rafters. And Messer Gymnasium, that's going to be an awesome game. Yeah, we'll have it for you right here on Bear Country on Friday night. And then Chris uh, will be right back at it on Saturday afternoon, this time on the ice. Pucks, we have the Greenfield Green Wave going down to West Greenfield. Western Mass Division 3A semifinal. They take on East Hampton. Yeah, what a way to make my season debut for hockey. Uh, <laughs> Todd, Todd Howe and I will be at the Olympia on Saturday afternoon. FCAT crew will be there as well. And we're looking forward to, uh, to seeing if the Greenfield Green Wave can punch their ticket to a Division IV final, which takes place on March the 8th uh, against the winner of Chicopee Comp and uh, uh, the winner of Chicopee Comp versus Belchertown. The winner of that game against Chicopee in the uh, semifinal game on Saturday as well. Alrighty, we'll have a lot of sports action for you three days and nights in a row right here on Bear Country 95.3. One more time out here. We'll come back, get you set for the start of the second half. Frontier leading Mahar 22-20 here on Bear Country. Play, ba play back on now here in the second half. Mahar with the ball and they trail by two. They led throughout most of that first half. And a traveling call down low on Jenks as they try to go baseline. They'll go right back to Frontier now. Yeah, good D in the baseline by Jared Music who tied him up. And Frontier's first, second half possession. They finished with a flurry. They were as hot as that fire in the art room earlier. Now we had <laughs> Kaelin Evans foul before that. And let's see who got the ticket. Number 32, who's not on my list. Oh, they threw us a curveball. I think that might be. That might be Jaden. That might be Jaden Sopka. I have to check that at the uh, when we get a break here. On the right side, it is Sharp. Number Evans, foul line. Forces one up. And that missed. By a lot. Back to the Mahar centers with a chance to tie to take the lead with a three. Sam Paul on the left side. And going baseline. Rejected by Carey. A save on the baseline. Brilliantly done. And it comes down to the Hawks. Wow. What a play by Carson Carey. That was just awesome. <laughs> Big men aren't supposed to be able to uh, move like that and handle the ball like that. Carson oh. has it. He got bumped. And that's a foul on Quinn Gervais as one number 22 bumps the other. That's his second on Quinn, second team foul already in the half against Maha. Sharp and bounding on the baseline. Holding, throws it out deep. Dylan Evans back to Sharp on the right side. Alex, that's it. Between the circles left side pass, Kaelin Evans. They go to Musica from the foul line left. Back to Evans, shot clock at 15. So have plenty of time right now. Carson Carey, right side pass to Sharp. Pull up pop from 17 is good. First points for Alex Sharp. 24 20 Frontier. Red Hawks' biggest lead of this game. With a long way to go there here. Jenks will go to the foul line. Rainbow jumper up and good. Nicely done there by Mailer. Great shot. 
24-22, Frontier by two. And between the circles there, there's Owen Morse. We'll get it back to Keelan Evans on the right wing. Shot clock down to 15, Morse, top of the key, they're gonna jump out on him. Sharp has it, left to wing, takes the top of the key, shot clock at 10. Keelan Evans, top of the key on the right wing to Morse, shot clock at five. Sharp in the right corner, shot clock at two. Perry hits from the right side. In midair, by the way. 26-22, Frontier, 5.50 to play here, third quarter. And on the right side, it's Sam Paul. Jump pass left side. Can't get the shot away. Nice in the lane, nice speed. Unable to finish though, it's Melu. Gervais blocked though by Perry. Quinn got a good look, but Perry said nothing. Frontier now can take their biggest lead of the game with a make here. Muzika in the paint. Perry taking it down. Jump pass back, Muzika at the foul line. Right of the lane, stripped them away up. Loose ball, St. Paul diving for it. Got it away, nicely done. Gervais looking to run, two on two break. Perry though is back. Gervais up baked and Muzika ended up vaulting right over him and he picked up the foul. <laughs> that is money's worth on that one, but oh. Man, oh man. That's three on him. Yeah, that is. They got him out of there. They weren't able to do so. The is gonna come in for him at the next stoppage of play. So uh, Jared's gonna be real careful here not to get foul number four in these next few moments. Jumping from the right side is good. And he gets the bucket again. I'm pretty sure that's a number change. And that could be a good in soccer. 26-24. Frontier's lead is two. We expect this to be close all the way to the finish line. Perry in the paint, strip, got it back. Jump pass right side, Kalen Evans. Pull pop from the baseline is no good. Rebound comes to Maha. Here comes Paul, Sam Paul. One of the better athletes that's come through Maha in recent years. Put it back on the football team. Cross over dribble, takes it in. Takes that left side. They go baseline, got to get rid of that. Back to Paul, he'll take a three. Back to him, no, follows his own shot. Got it. And on the right side, Quinn Gervais from 17. It's good and we're tied. Good ball moving by Mahart, keep that alive. That was Paul that got that going. We're halfway through the third, we're tied at 26. Kaelin Evans, top of the key, they go to Morris. Uh, check that sharp. Now Morris has it, left side, quick release. Three is good. Oh, and Morris is gonna fire away from three-point range. He buried it. He only needs a nanosecond to scrub the feet and release that shot. And a block by Evans. Ball got blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Senators. Leskowski in. And they're gonna get Muzika out with those three fouls. Frontier leading by three. Paul inbounding on the baseline, got it in, driving through, and the run of the floater up no good. It's Karen Evans back. Pull up pop from 18, and that is no good. Perry trying for the rebound without playing the foul. And he was unable to clear it. And Sam Paul now. Mahar trailing by three. Over there on the right side, Quinn Gervais. Passes back to Nehru. Deep on the left side, shot clock now down to 10. Loose Paul, picked up, coming through St. Paul. His floater, in and out, no good. Rebound comes to Ben Laskowski. Couple pass over to Sharp. Alex will jog it across the timeline. 2.53 to play here in the third. Frontier leading by three. Down low to Carey, one on one, and no problem. Hit over Gervais. Yeah, one on one's not gonna work against him. Tied out on the court, 2.46 to play here, third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It is Frontier 31, Mahar 26. Back after this one minute timeout. And tonight's game here on Bear Country brought to you by Kira Soil, Dick Power Septic, Sunderland Animal Hospital, and by Albert Hearing Services. Play back on now. Mahar looking at their biggest deficit of the night. It's only five points. Oh, nearly a backcourt. Yes, it is. As uh, Sam Paul's foot did touch the center court strike off of a pass from his teammate. Yeah, it's getting away from Mahar a little bit right now. Yep. The, uh, they are not looking like they are in sync at all. 2.35 to play here in the third. Frontier with the ball leading by five. Biggest lead of the game for either team was 
Maha leading by eight early in the second quarter. Karsten Carey goes left baseline, puts it up and in, nice and easy. Just slammed it. 33-26, the lead is seven, and now the defense begins to trap. How will Mahar deal with that? Left side, that's Matt Lysick for three, it's good. Big three ball. Gets him back to within four now. Frontier 33, Mahar 29. Exactly two minutes to play here in the third. They jump out on Ben Laskowski. This is Morris who has been huge. Laskowski from 18, no good. Follows his own shot on the baseline. Passes out of that back to Kalen Evans. Kalen's been a little cold here in the third. He'll pass back to Sharp. Over the time on the shot clock, 20 seconds. Morris, deep three this time. That one is no good. Carey though the rebound. Back to Sharp, a new shot clock for the Hawks. 1.32 to play in the third. They lead by four. Laskowski, right corner. Morris, pass batted down. Nicely done there. Now foul on Morris as he tried to play catch up. As heading the other way was Brendan Mayler. That's not necessarily a bad foul. I mean, they, otherwise they're off to the races and they had numbers, so. That was only the first foul on Owen, so exactly. you're right. Exactly, so it, it breaks the momentum, which is a good thing. 1.22 to play, third quarter. Front to 33, Mahar 29. Senators with the ball. Lysick gets it down low in the paint. Back to Matt, he'll launch another three. That one is no good. Deep rebound comes to Ben Laskowski. Got it to Sharp Alex, who jog it across the timeline. Into the front court, center court circle, he stops there. Now he'll angle towards the right, now looks to the left, gets more so little deep on the wing, back to Sharp. Sharp tricky dribbles, right of the lane, into the right corner, Kalen Evans, up takes. Headed by Jenks, they get it down low, Litskowski, left side pass, Sharp wide open for three, that is good! The yeah. three has really been a benefit for the Hawks tonight. Yeah, the outside game is starting to work for Frontier. They lead by seven, 36-29. 35 seconds left here in the third. Now a steal by Carey. Morris will peel back, the numbers weren't there. Back to Sharp, they'll set it up. Ben, ben uh, Barshevsky says, slow down, let's set up a shot. About three and a half seconds differential shot clock to game clock. Sharp, near the center court circle, they're just kind of wasting some time here. Shot clock at eight, now they'll make their move. On the right side, right side, Morris free. Right corner three is short, very short. And it comes down to Cringer Bay. Three seconds left from mid court. Three pointer up and short. Out of the hands of Sam Paul. End of three here in South Deerfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's now Frontier 36, Mahar 29. Bear Country 95.3. Tonight's game being brought to you by the South Deerfield Polish Club, Smith Kelleher Funeral Home, Athol Credit Union, SNS Appliances, the Sandry Companies, and by the Boiler Bar and Grill. Frontier outscored Mahar 14-9 in the third to take a two-point halftime lead up to seven. It's 36-29. Yeah, and uh, I think that the momentum is on Frontier's side right now, and Mahar is looking for an answer. They have been ice cold the last couple of times down the floor. And it will, in fact, be Frontier Ball to begin the fourth quarter. They come out with Ben Laskowski, who uh, got in not major foul trouble, but he's sat a little more than he wanted to. Sharp, Morse, who's been huge tonight, Carey, and Kalen Evans. That's the five on the floor for the Hawks. And Karsten Carey they tried to poke the ball away, but instead Devin Patch is going to get whistled for a foul. That's his second. 13 foul on the Senators. Morse will inbound down the baseline. Throws it out deep to Evans. Top of the key. Between the circles. Now gets it over on the left wing to Sharp. Back to Evans up top. Only a time of the shot clock. Evans back to Sharp in the corner. Dump it down low to Carey. Through another triple team. A held ball. Nice D by uh, Quinn Gervais down there. And on the air, it goes back to the Senators. Yep, Gervais and Patch both kind of tied him up and didn't let him go anywhere. Marston's had a reasonable amount of success down low, but not that time. Nalu over to Sam Paul, left corner goes to Patch. And on the right side, Gervais in the corner goes to Nalu. Brendan Nalu on the wing now. Shot clock coming down to 12. The Patch will be on the arc. Quinn Gervais has it now trying to work a screen. They can't do it. Into the paint, they dump it down low. Left side, up fake. 
And a block nicely done there by Litskowski. Oh, it's not a shot, it should have been a shot clock violation. Yeah, the shot, it never went, they had reset it evidently, but that, because there was a block, it never yeah, came. Yeah, they never hit the, hit the rim. That should be a shot clock violation, should be going, the officials now are going to confer. Yeah, because the shot clock was coming down to three, two seconds, now all three officials, I think that, I, unless I missed something, I think the call is easy, the ball never hit the rim. If for some reason the shot clock got reset, the Frontier never assumed possession. The shot clock will reset if someone assumes possession. And then Mahar got the ball back, but Frontier never really got possession. Alex so. Sharp is listening intently and commenting. I think it's Frontier ball here. Should be. Now the crowd's getting restless. Make a decision, guys. Jerry Burgess is in the middle of it. They're talking, they're talking, talking. We have our second delay of the night. The shot clock shows 27 seconds. Now, they must be saying, they must be saying that somehow Frontier assumed possession of the ball and then Mahar stole it back. He's trying to explain it to Okay, that must be ben. what it was. The, the shot never hit the rim, that we know. Ben doesn't seem convinced, but it's gonna be Mahar ball. And the shot clock is at 27 seconds. So basically, we're picking up where we left off. All right, Sam Paul gets it in to Jenks. And between the circles is Melo. Frontier really playing suffocating defense. Mahar is really struggling offensively right now. Patch gets it away to Sam Paul, right of the lane. They get it down low to Jenks. Loses it, got it back. Back top of the key, Gervais, Sam Paul, shot clock down eight. They're running it down again. Batted down by Perry. Ends up in the hands of Shrub. Outstanding defense by the Hawks there. That's how you do it. Well done. That will take them a long way in this postseason. The key is sustaining that. I mean, they're just suffocating Maha right now. The lead is seven. Perry, top of the key. Goes on the right side to Evans. Taylor, foul line, left side, Morse. Oh, he wanted that three, but they jumped out on him. Gets it back. Shot clock at four. Swing pass right side. Sharp will square up. His shot no good. Tipped around. And over the back foul call against Karsten Carey. Well, they used every bit of that shot clock and then Karsten got hit with the foul. So that's only his first. Does Mahar have another run left in them? They've been sticking around. It's all been Frontier in the second half. Melu takes it across. Gets it back over there. Going baseline now, Gervais passes right through the hands of Patch back to Frontier. Well, I think Evans got a hand on it, and that made it go through Patch's hands pretty much. Now some pressure by the Senators, broken easily by Frontier. But as I say that, Evans got tied up with Jenks. A hell ball, the arrow will favor Frontier, and two players went down hard. Frontier will keep it with 23 seconds in the shot clock. 551 in the fourth quarter. They lead by seven. Mahar led by four at the end of one. They quickly increased that lead to eight. But then Frontier with a late surge. They led by two at halftime. They led by seven at the end of three. In fact, we haven't had a score here in the, in the fourth quarter yet. And we're in the three minutes in. Kalen Evans deep on the left side. Gets it in Laskowski. On the right side, Morris another three. That is short that we set to cool off a little bit. Sam Paul up ahead. Here comes Melo all the way through. Puts it up, no, but a blocking foul on Ben Litskowski. That'll be four on Ben. Let's see if the other Ben, head coach Bar Barshevsky, makes a move here. He had to get back there. I mean, that was a foul that he had no choice but to take. Otherwise, it's an uncontested layup. Muzika will come in after this first free throw. And Litskowski will sit. First of two, no good for Melo. So Muzika in, Litskowski out. Melo seemed to rush that foul shot. Yeah, it was not a good release at all. He'll try one more time here. Second freebie is on the way. In and out, no good. So other than getting that foul call, a squander opportunity for the Severs. They still trail by seven. Still no scoring here in the fourth quarter. Low scoring game here. In South Deerfield, Sharp 
Top of the key, he's in a bit of trouble. Got to lay to Morse. Morse. Scoots a pass over there to Sharp. Maha really stepping up defensively as well. Kale and Evans. Pass is tipped away. Here comes Sam Paul all the way through. He will lay it up and in. Frontier's lead is five, 36-31. Now some backcourt pressure again by the Senators. They're gonna get Carey right in the middle to use him. They break the press. Nicely done there. On the left side. Reverse lane attempt. No good by Evans. Carey the putback, no. Rebound comes down to Maha. Drinks. Got it away. Paul, left side pass, batted down. Looks at the hands of Evans, who's off the races, controlling the basketball. Kalen Evans drives through, no offensive foul on Evans. Yeah, Frontier fans don't like it, but that was pretty clearly a charge. He had that lane blocked nicely. Fans don't like it, but don't make it real. So he had a first foul on Kalen. And a timeout called by Maha. The momentum might maybe, possibly, be starting to shift here. We'll find out. We'll take a timeout. 426 to play in regulation. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier by five over Mahar. 36-31 on Bear Country. And we want to thank more of the sponsors here on the broadcast tonight. SNS Appliances, the Sandry Companies, Boiler Bar and Grill, Piner Stone Seals, Whitty's Funeral Home, the Gil Montague Regional School with us here as well 426 remaining it's now 840 we had a 30 i think it was about a 32 minute fire delay here a small fire here in front of regional in the art room and we had to evacuate the building or outside getting a little cooled off we came back in had a 10 minute warm-up play resumed and frontier has been controlling play here but in the last few minutes Maha started to kick up the heels just a little bit. See if they can come all the way back here. St. Paul, foul line right, picks up the dribble. Hands back to Patch, back to Paul deep on the right. Shot clock at 15. Patch, left side pass to Melu. Foul on Morris, just kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time, trying to play some D. That is his uh, second foul. Paul will inbound just off far up, gets it into Brennan Melu, back to Paul. New shot clock after that foul call. On the left side, Patch is going to take a three. That is no good. Gervais got the rebound. Rejected by Carey. Loose ball on the floor. Big battle for it. And Maher gets it back. Sam Paul on the right side. In the corner to Gervais. That's yeah, just a tough matchup. Gervais trying to go over against Carey. It's just not going to win that one most of the time. Paul on the right wing, shot clock down to 10. Paul takes another paint, his runner is up. In and out, no good, carry the rebound. Out and on the left, it goes to Evans. Kalen runs it up on the left side. Takes it to the wing. Back to Sharp. This crew's been out there for a while now. Again, in the postseason, the benches get short anyway. Karsten Carey frees himself from the right block and hits. Carey has been off the floor all night. Frontier by seven, 38-31, down to 313 to play. Maha needs a make here. Three-pointer left side by Gervais, too strong. Pats go the rebound, weak side rebound, and he hits. 38-33, Frontier by five, backcourt pressure. And Frontier's got to get it across, they're running out of time, they do, they get it to carry. On the right side, Morris comes all the way through, a little misdirection, puts it up. Count it, and a blocking foul down low on Maha. What a play by Owen Morris. Thought about taking the jump and decided to go for it, and he got the shot, and he's a freshman, as the fans are pointing out. He's had a fine year, but he is playing some of his best basketball right now at the perfect opportunity. And he makes it a three-point play, and the lead back up to a timeout on the floor. 2.49 to play in this one. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 41, Maha 33, Bear Country 95.3. Well, after the game, Chris and I will reveal the hell in the chemical player of the game, and unless something changes at this point, we have the strongest of strong candidates, and it is Owen Morse. I mean, he is just playing out of his mind right now. Well, the whole complexion of the game changed when he came into the third quarter. I mean, he really gave the spark and he hit a couple of big threes in the first half. 
and I think he has been lights out in this game. And I'm watching him right now. I'm looking at a kid. You're a freshman. You're what, 14 years old, roughly? I mean, he's completely unaffected by the crowd, the magnitude of the, of the moment, just playing basketball. All right, Baja. I think we said it a moment ago. They need a make here. This is starting to get away. The slow leak is becoming much more prominent now. Right side, Gervais puts up a jumper. No good. Offensive rebound. A held ball on that rebound between Muzika and Jenks. And the arrow will favor the Southerners. Mahara has not been great on the, the glass in the second half on either end of the floor. And Carson Terry is a big reason. Also, Muzika. Yeah, Jenks was huge in the first half, but uh, he's been limited here in the second. High oh. pass, Jenks tipped it to himself. Nearly a turnover. Coming through now. Back on the left side, Paul will take a three. That is no good. And again, they shot the lights out in the first quarter, but they have been cold since then. It's not working for him in the second half. Frontier now can take a double-digit lead here with two minutes to play. Morris slithers through the oh, D, yeah. and they got him with a walk. So he is here oh, after was it, was it a foul or a walk? Traveling. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Yeah, it looked, it looked like he, that was a big step he took, too. So we won't put him in Springfield in the Hall of Fame just yet. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Paul has on the left wing, gets a screen, but... Morris is able to work himself free from that. We're down to two minutes to play. Mahar, they want to come back, they have to do it right now. Sam Paul, though, loses the handle, picks it back up, shot clock at nine. Paul, top of the key, right side, three-pointer by Patches up, no good. Deep rebound comes to Mahar. They get it to Quinford uh, Gervais. He's very quiet player. He's an excellent player, but Frontier is really taking him out of the game. And a foul called against Frontier on the right side. Ben Laskowski set the check back in with four fouls. 1.35 to play. Frontier leads by eight. That's a foul on Alex Sharp, his first. And I'll tell you what, Barshevsky, he's just gone with it. Other than uh, he's been substituting Muzika for Laskowski and the other way around. Other than that, it's just been the same crew. Uh, every postseason, I mean, guys who normally get a lot of playing time don't. It's just the way it goes. One and one now. For Maha, first one is good by Paul. Makes it a seven point game. And this could make it a two possession game if he makes it right here. Could make it a six point game. It's in the air, that is good as well. They'll press now, try to get a steal here, and they do! Patch has it, right side, his shot, no good though, an air ball. And it tipped out of bounds, it will be frontier ball. Golden opportunity there for Maha. To try to get another steal here. They get it into Curie though. Pressed immediately. Pass it almost hit the rim there. And now it is a steal and a foul called against Morse. He's arguing, but he did. He bumped, he con a lot of contact there. That's going to be on Alex. Is that what I'm Takes the foul? No, I don't think so. But it is going to be a one and one. It's just the crowd is really reacting. I'm not sure what the, what the, Debates about. I mean, yeah, that I was mean, pretty obviously a foul. A lot yeah, of contact. It was a, a, a decent amount of contact there for the foul. And Ben Barshevsky is going to call a timeout. He wants to make sure his players maintain their composure for the stretch run. This game is theirs to win if they can keep their wits about them. We'll step aside for a quick 30 second break. 1.23 to play in this game. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 41, Mahar 35. here bud we have Leah coming up after the game we had to go back to Leah momentarily when we had the fire delay here uh, but first we have a minute 23 to play frontier in control they will have the ball they're gonna face a ferocious Mahar press here and, the same. and that's been working, Chris, two times in a row. They've been able to get a steal here, but haven't been able to convert it into points. All right. 
We have the one and one. I misspoke. We do have the free throws to come here. Jenks shooting. First of the one and one is up, and it bounced high in the air and fell through. <laughs> it's good. And he'll get another. He had 10 points in the first half. That's his first point in the second. Yeah, he was uh, he was the man early on. He was everywhere. He will get one more now. Very deliberate delivery. It's up. That one is good as well. Hey, it's a four-point game now, and nearly a steal by the Senators. And it's thrown away. Oh, Maha's going to get back. I know why Barczewski called that timeout. It was all about composure as much as X's and O's. And now Maha can make this a one-possession game. Paul and bounding on the baseline into Gervais. Charlie Barnes back in. Here is Sam Paul. Charlie Barnes will take the three. It is short. Rebound to Jenks. Loses it out of bounds. He says it was off the frontier. He can't believe it. I thought it was off of him, but oh, he is not happy. It'll go back to frontier. 109 to play. Hawks lead by four. Miskowski inbounding. Gets it into Kaelin Evans. Foul there by Melu, who went for the steal. That's a good foul. That's the fifth team foul. So not shooting just yet. Yeah, they have a couple to give before we get into the shoot. Yeah, players went right to the lane, but they're not shooting just yet. 107 to play, Frontier by four. They need to be sure their pass is here for us. Now is not the time to uh, <laughs> not have a strong look to game. And on the right corner, it is Morris. He has done an immense night. Passes batted down, loose ball on the floor. It is picked up by Sam Paul, heading down court to the line, to the lane, stops, forces up a tough angle shot. It is no good. But the rebound comes right down to Maha. In the right corner, Barnes. Oh, Barnes going to take that three. Top of the key, Sam Paul. Timeout called by Maha. 17 seconds to shoot. 42.3 on the game clock. And it's a four-point lead. 41-37 Frontier. We'll keep it here. Again, Maha, especially second, mid-second quarter on, they've hardly been shooting the lights out. But... Chris, they threw up my, the, these kids that they've stuck around, they, I mean, they nearly, they were a Quinn Gervais open look jumper from upsetting Hopkins in Hadley. They, they are tough. They are tough, and, and they seem to know when to turn it on at the very, very end. And in this case, they've had a, a not a great second half, but in the last couple of minutes, they've really taken it to Frontier. And the Red Hawks look a little bit tentative right now. And I'm not sure if that's because they're actually tentative or because Mahar is so intense right now, but they're, they're four points away from tying this game. I would say about 10 minutes ago, I mean, 10 minutes of real time, I, I was ready to say, all right, mark it up. They're going, they're going, the Red Hawks, that is, they're going to Great Barrington on Friday night. And I still think they are, but Frontier has to play smart. They have made several mental errors, three that I can count, that have directly resulted in losing possession and points for Maha. Now Maha has drawn up a play. The offense has been really tough to come by here in this in this game. I mean, we're right near the end, and neither team has really put up their usual point output. They get it into Barnes, right back to Melo. Gets a screen, Brennan Melo, into the right corner. Jump pass down low, coming through. Shot is blocked down low, put back up, no good. Tick follow, no, one more time, no! Loose ball on the floor, we got a foul. Which way are we going? Foul on Frontier. That stops the clock with 28 seconds to play. And still in the one and one. That's the ninth team foul. Big shots here. It's a huge. Quinn Gervais, this is your chance now. He's had a quiet night. He's been defended heavily. He's a really good ball player. Front end of the one and one is up and he's good. That makes it a one possession game. It's 41-38. And now Gervais can make it a two-point Frontier lead. It is. 41-39, 28 seconds left. And a steal! Right down! It put up no good, though, but stolen right back, but a foul oh. on Maha going the other way. I'll tell you what, it looked like Jenks was going to tie this game. And the foul was on whom? It was on Frontier. And that's the 10th team foul, so now we are shooting two and a chance to tie 
No, no, okay, we, the foul was, okay. Foul was not on Yeah, well, they were filling the lane as if they were shooting. That foul was on Charlie Barnes. Maha will go for the steal. If not a quick foul, that's what happens. They try for the steal, and Evans now, that's the 17th foul, so now we are shooting one and one on the other end. It's a two-point game for Frontier. That's three on uh, Brendan Naylor, but these are two big foul shots here, potentially for Kalen Evans. Well, I'll tell you what, it's important from a Frontier perspective to make two because then it makes it a two possession game again. If he only makes one or none, it remains a one possession game. All right, one and one. First one is up, no good. Maha can tie or take the lead here. They've called the timeout with 18.8 seconds left. We'll take a quick 30 second break, 41, 39 Frontier. Back after this on Bear Country 95.3. We're back at Goodnote Gymnasium and Frontier got off to that poor start on the year, 0-4. They had a lot of games that were somewhat reminiscent of this course. Yeah, there were a couple of games where they gave it away the last couple of minutes. And this is one of those situations where I don't think they're giving anything away. I think Mahar right now has stepped up and run another level. And uh, it would not surprise me to see an extra frame in this one. An eight-point lead for Frontier is down to two. The shot clock is off. 18.8 seconds left. We'll see what Chad Softer drew up. All right, they get it into Melo. Into the front court. 15 seconds left. Frontier by two. Gervais hands to Sam Paul. Turning, looking for help. Right side, Barnes rejected by Carson Curry. Ends up the kill and others with 5.2 seconds left. That's the block of the year right there. The block of the year by Carson Curry. That could have tied the game. Barnes got rejected, and now Evans, again, that was the uh, eighth team foul, so it's still one and one. Well, that was a three. They could have given the lead. And Carson just knocked it out of the sky. Perfectly timed. Huge free throw here. Evans missed the last time. Yeah, it is up and good. It makes it a three-point game. If he makes one more, it'll be ball game. It's a three-point lead now. Lysick is back in for Barnes for Maha. This is the free throw. This is huge for Kalen Evans. No good. Tip the carry though. 3.3 seconds left. Another foul and right back to the line goes Frontier. This time it's going to be Jordan Uzika. Yep, Uzika can ice it. Karsten Perry is part of that as well. Yeah. Big block and a big rebound. Again, even one make and that will punch the Red Hawk ticket for the next round. It's no good. But another offensive rebound, another foul, only eight tenths of a second left. So in the two and out at this point, Frontier will be going to Great Barrington on Friday night in the quarterfinal round. Ben Barshevsky calls a timeout. We will take a quick 30 second break back for the last eight tenths of a second on Bear Country 95.3. And tonight's game has been brought to you in part by C&A Repair and Equipment, by the Deerfield Pharmacy, by the Mackin Fuel and Trucking Company. We've got the Helena Chemical, of course, our post-game show. Play of the game. Conquest of Winfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne. And we've got uh, Ben Laskowski this time at Global Line. And he is now shooting uh, two. And that was the 10th team foul. And only eight tenths of a second left. First of two is up. It is no good. Can they make it from about 80 feet? If they miss this one, can they make a three pointer from 80 feet know. to send it in overtime? <laughs> that would be crazy. I would just actually just brick this. No, hit, no, hit it. So, that, yeah, four point game now. So, that will do it. The Frontier Red Hawks have survived a late comeback by the Maha Senators. They win it by a final score of 43 to 39. And they will take on the Tennessee Garden and Mountain Regional to start in their gym in Great Barrington on Friday night. They'll take a two minute timeout. We'll wrap things up next on Bear Country 95.3. Financial 
support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. All right, welcome to the post-game show here on Bear Country 95.3. We are smiling because we have an all-Franklin County League quarterfinal in D4. Franklin Tech wins on the road. They'll go to the mess hall on Friday night to take on the Pioneer Panthers. We're also smiling, Chris, because fire delay and all. We had one hell of a basketball game here tonight. We, we figured we would. Ends up being a four-point frontier victory, 43-39. So they get past their rough patch there in the, in the uh, first quarter. They were, they were having a tough time there for a while. But uh, go on to the next round. Yeah, it was a lot of ebbs and flows in this game. And, and really, the, the scary part was in that fourth quarter when Mahard just took it to another level and really started to cause a lot of problems for Frontier. But Frontier was able to hold tough. They were able to, do, to make some good plays. Karsten Carey with a couple of key blocks and uh, some key shots in the end by Alex Sharp, by Owen. Uh, fantastic game, fantastic win, and now a much taller order as they go up to the Berkshires to take on the top seed Friday night. But a long run of success over there uh, under their former coach, uh, Marty Sanderson. Uh, ten years ago, it's hard to believe it's been that uh, long. Uh, that was a quick decade, of course, that state championship. Other good teams followed. Uh, you know, coaching change. Uh, ben eventually comes in, some success, and then you know, a little bit of a dry patch for them. I mean, they were never bad, but... The frontier down, meaning yeah. just kind of a middling type program. It, now they're back in the postseason. Now they're making some uh, progress, and I tell you, the Monument is going to have to account for these guys on Friday night. Well, I think if they play the kind of defense they played in that third quarter against Mahar Monument, I don't know what Monument's seen. The Berkshire teams, obviously, they're a top seed, so they're going to have a strong program. But yeah. I think if you go up there loose, you know, you go up there as an eight seed, not expecting, nobody's expecting you to win. That's the kind of recipe with that kind of defense. And if Carson can get hot and the outside shooting can be strong, that's the kind of a recipe for an upset. And it would not at all surprise me to see Frontier at the cage. If they, and they could very easily knock off Monument if the right team shows up. And again, the concern is you're going on the road, you're going to the Berkshires, you're going up against a tough team, and there might be some nerves. But if the team that played in the third quarter shows up in uh, the Berkshires Friday night, it's going to be a very interesting match. It sure will. Uh, we'll uh, see how they fare on Friday night. Our broadcast on Friday night, we now know. We knew we were going to be at the mess hall for uh, Pioneer. And, uh, again, they will be playing Franklin County Tech, 12th seed, uh, with the uh, stunning upset there on the road. So they, they move on. So congratulations to them. And I'll tell you what, Chris, uh, only only one one thing was hotter than the, than the art room at Frontier tonight, and that was a certain Frontier freshman. We're giving it away. He was he was the hell of a chemical player of the game. Yeah, I mean, like I said, there were ebbs and flows in this game, but when the complexion of the game changed, when Owen Morris entered in the early, or late in, this, in the first half, hit a couple of big threes. He had three threes in the game, 14 points, but he was a difference maker out there, and, you know, we were, we were sort of hedging. We thought maybe Karsten Carey who had a very, very strong game, never left the floor the entire game. He was out there for the full uh, full game and ended up with 16 points as lead all scorers. But I think Owen Morse was the difference maker. Without him, I don't think they win this game. I agree. Congratulations to uh, Frontier freshman Owen Morse, our Helena Chemical player of the game. As Frontier wins it, final score of 43-39. to 39. They play number one monument on Friday night in the boys' Division Three quarterfinal round. Winner of that game will go to the Cajun Amherst next week for the Final Four, the D3 semifinals. So our broadcast schedule is as follows here on Bear Country. On Thursday night, Greenfield girls on the road at Granby in the uh, Division Three quarterfinal round. 
winner there, again, will also go to the cage. Greenfield, again, that was the stated goal all year long. We'll see if they can do it. We'll have the action for you. 6.45 pregame, 7 o'clock tip. Friday night, Franklin Tech at Pioneer at the Ness Hall in Northfield. Same time frame, 6.45 pre, 7 o'clock tip. And we have some hockey, Chris. You and Todd Howe, former Green, a couple of former Greenfield players, will be at the mic down at the Olympia in West Springfield. Yeah, the Olympia, that's going to be a great game. That's going to be East Hampton against Greenfield. Technically, Greenfield is the uh, lower seed, so uh, the higher seed, so they're the away team. But when you get down to a neutral location like that, you know, you're, it's the final four, basically, of Division uh, 4A, and I'm looking very much forward to seeing Greenfield and East Hampton. I believe East Hampton got the better of Greenfield earlier on in the season. But uh, it's the playoffs, everything changes, and it's it's one and done. So it would not surprise me at all to see Greenfield, which has kids from all over the county, including yep. a number of them from Frontier, uh, on that uh, ice. And I would love to see them knock off East Hampton. Yep, they have some kids. Uh, they have some kids from Turner's Falls as well. They've got Whiteman. They've got, they've got, uh, they've got uh, Cassidy or Wozniak from Turner's Falls right. as part of the program as well. Excellent uh, softball player over there at uh, Turner's Falls High. So this is going to be fun. I know the Greenfield girls basketball team, they're sort of the darlings of the school right now, but that hockey team has a huge following as well. And it's our pleasure to finally get them on the air. Well, I, I'll tell you, I, I, I helped coach the Dave Petrie Memorial alumni game a couple of weeks ago, and I got so much flack. Because we hadn't done a radio game yet. And yeah. like, where are you guys? Where are you guys? We're hot. We're hot. We used so, to do the Upton Cup back Exactly. Well, yeah. so you got it. We're going to yeah. be on the air on Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it is. That'll be uh, so 115 pregame. 115 pregame, 130. Uh, drop the puck from the Olympia. And uh, TV guys will be there too. So. Yep. With, uh, with Chris and Howie. So looking forward to that as well. So that's the situation. Local sports updates tomorrow morning uh, with Kevin on Bear in the Morning at 640 and 840. Final score once again on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier advances. They win it. Thank you so much for joining us.